from a young age it was probably my dad. Um, he got me into it and, and he played himself, he played for Dublin and he played for Kula. He always got me, he handed me a stick, he, he taught me, to play. we'd go for puck rounds together, so he was the one that got me into the sport. Probably the one that meant the most to me when I was younger was, well in 2006 I was on the panel for the All-Ireland Colleges and that's the first kind of All-Ireland thing because I hadn't won anything with Dublin all the way up kind of, we've ta we obviously taken part in stuff and we'd, we'd, we'd done well in terms but that was kind of the, the real benchmark of a Dublin revolution is actually might be happening so the, 2000 college, the 2006 Colleges win was probably the most, what's the word? Um, memorable. I try to stay out of my head the week coming up to it now. If you're very nervous for a game you mustn't have prepared properly so my first thing the week coming up to the game was it was 100% confidence in my preparation so I mean I have to get my hydration right, I have to get my diet right, training right, flexibility right, um, just a lot of contributing factors, get my touch in maybe a few days before because you can't you can't go out to the wall and spend four hours banging against the wall thinking you're just becoming this fantastic player the next day. If you're not confident in your preparation, you're not going to succeed on the day. So I probably, if I get my, my preparation right, then my head will be right. Then I'll be completely together for a game. Well, obviously no one's given us any, um, any sort of chance, which is kind of what suits us. Uh, means we can just play with freedom, you know what I mean? We can just cut loose and kind of give it a lash and hopefully hopefully, our best performance will come out because that's all we've ever been asked all year to put in a performance. So we know that by the end of these next two weeks our preparation will be done. So if we can just get out of our own heads and just cut loose and give it everything, I suppose, I'd say I'd be very fairly confident that we'll definitely put it up to tip. I mean, obviously they're a fantastic team, but I think our team, even despite our our injuries that we have of absolutely massive men that, that we can we still have the players to definitely put it up to them and and put in a performance and hopefully get a result at the start of the year if you'd asked me here do you think you'd be getting into without those three players do you think you'd be getting through to an all Ireland semi-final I would have said no it just shows that the depth in the squad and kind of the resources that we have that Dublin haven't had in the past it has been absolutely brilliant this year like I've never I've never fought hard enough to to, to get a position than I have this and last year, like I mean, there's always, always someone to come in. Especially with the, over the last three years, the panel that we've made, the panel that that Daly has formed, and that Martin has done all year. We serious, we have a serious, serious team that we that Dublin have never had. So I mean, we we deserve to be in this position because the work that we that has been put in through all the way up to, in the Dublin scene and then at county level. You have to put in the time. I mean, you can train all day and all night, but it's lit it's it's really what you put in between training sessions that really matters. Like, are you going to get the touch in? Are you going to put your hurl under your stairs for for the week until your next training right. session? If you're willing to put in the time, you'll you'll reap the dividends. You know. Yeah. If you asked me five years ago, would Dublin be in the frame to win an All Ireland? I'd say a lot of people would laugh at you, but now it's it's wave upon wave of new talent coming through, and I'm only just one year of of a consistent flow of Dublin hurlers on what we call the conveyor belt of of talent coming through. Daily Daily always quotes, uh, I think it was Gilligan for the Clare team. He always says, "Bring war to their door," and I really like that one as well. I'm a big fan of Jedward, but. Uh, <laughs> I kind of keep that in the down low, but I think most people know myself and Declan O'Dwyer. We we have a, a soft spot for the two the two quiff lads. So I listened to them before a few games. My favourite song is Lipstick. So I actually really enjoy the, the lads. <laughs>